With ongoing uncertainty as to when social distancing will end, many Northwestern students here in the U.S. long to go outside, meet friends, and dine in at restaurants. Meanwhile, life is slowly returning back to normal for some international students in China and South Korea. When I came to Korea, self-quarantine was still voluntary, but strongly advised. Weinberg freshman Chloe Lee volunteered to self-isolate for two weeks when she returned to South Korea in March. Everyone had to download an app where they had to report symptoms every day. Everyone just did it because it's a social obligation rather than like legal. In China, the government requires international travelers to stay in hotels, even if they have family residences. The 14 days quarantine is very strict. You can not leave the hotel. You cannot leave the room. After 14 days, we got like a certificate of quarantine and we have to carry that. People in China must also always have their color QR code available to show public officials. A green code allows one to enter any open public space. A yellow code means the person may be asked to self-isolate for seven days. And a red code means the person has COVID-19 or did not self-isolate after entering China's borders. They must undergo a two-week quarantine. In all the public spaces, even to go into our house, we have to show the security our green code. Even as life starts returning to normal in China and South Korea, people are being cautious. The atmosphere is a little bit loosened up and I see some people going out, but I feel like generally people still have like that social obligation just to like not go full out. The same in China. I went out with my friends a few times. We went to eat hot pot. A lot of the restaurants right now won't allow the whole, like the house to be full. But while acknowledging U.S. students' struggles and fears of indefinite social distancing, international students feel that the general attitudes and reactions toward COVID-19 are different. Whether it be protests to quickly reopen states or wearing masks. The whole perception like towards wearing masks is very negative in the U.S., I feel like. They hope those in the U.S. can remain patient for a little while longer. When the people were under quarantine in China, a lot of people were mad as well because, you're, you know, like they weren't able to have fun and they could, all they could do was at home. And now China's open. International students also recommended picking up a hobby during quarantine, especially if you have an unfinished bucket list with house activities, of course. These students, who have been in quarantine for longer than their U.S. peers, hope that their advice can ease the boredom and fears of those in the U.S. Reporting from my home in California, Jenny Ha, Northwestern News Network.